Number 2, Jack Beard. Number 16, Frank Howard. Number 44, LaDon Parker. And number 71, DJ Jones. For Smith County, number 1, Johnny Lida. Number 9, Jamison Keeley. Number 58, Jimmy Keenan. And number 33, Bryce Curry. Here with quarterback Zach Beard after East Nashville's 40 to 27 win here in the quarterfinals. Uh, Zach, how did the game go for you? Uh, it's sort of back and forth battle, and, and then y'all kind of put it away at the end. It was good. We've been working hard at practice, ready for this day, ready to get our revenge back from last time we played in the region championship and lost by one point. He was ready. <laughs> Zach, uh, five touchdowns tonight. Uh, you did, uh, I think, four uh, passing touchdowns, one rushing touchdown. Uh, speak a little bit about your dual threat ability. <laughs> it just goes right it happens, yeah. uh speak a little bit about your receivers uh trey had a big game tonight and then uh frank gordon is frank gordon so they're good wide receivers they like to work they like hey, to guys, get the ball get guys, open guys, open a good situation make play making um and big times they make big plays they're big playmakers zach as a senior uh last year losing in the state championship game what's it mean to be one step away from getting another chance to bring home a gold ball um, i want to take uh, work hard at practice, get on my team, be a leader, so we can get the go ball, bring it back to East. All right, Zach, appreciate you. Uh, good game. Good luck next week on the road. Here with the victorious Jamal Stewart after the Eagles' 40-27 uh, win over Smith County. Coach, uh, what'd you see tonight? Uh, we just, we just, we had to refocus, man. Like I said, we had some things we need to do, and uh, we had it, we used our skill players a little bit better today. Like I said, we wanted them to chase us left and right. Sometimes take some shots vertical because we feel like that's what we did. We didn't do the last first game. You know, they're pretty good up front. They're starting inside. We wanted to get our athletes in space today, and that's what we kind of did. Coach, um, had three weeks there where you scored, I believe, 12, 14, and 14. You scored 40 the last two weeks. Uh, speak a little bit about how your offense started click since making those changes. Yeah, you know, we had to make some changes inside the interior line. Uh, and some young guys, we got some freshmen and sophomores stepping up. And, like I said, it's always the next man up. You know, it's the best thing for the program. And, like, we, it took us a couple weeks to get them acclimated, and now they're rolling. So, uh, and it allowed us to spread the ball out a little bit more. You know, we have a little bit more confidence in what we're doing, and Zach is playing lights out right now. And uh, he's playing at a full-time high level. And so, at this time, I feel like he can make any throw right now, but he can do. he's a dual threat right now. He can do whatever we need him to do. Yeah, speak a little bit about uh, Trey Joyner. I mean, everybody talks about Frank and, and how good Frank is, but Trey had a phenomenal night tonight. Well, 
To be honest, this is going to be the first time in school history uh, we have 2,000 yard uh, wide receivers. Uh, Trey had 181, I mean, excuse me, 811 before this game, and Frank had 941. So I think they might have got to that point or close to it. But uh, hey, when you got two of them and we run the ball well, it's pretty hard to stop when we stay consistent and play plenty of free football. Coach, I'm going to ask you the same question I asked Zach. Um, bringing home a silver last year, now one step away from getting another shot at the gold ball. What's it mean uh, from a, a coach's standpoint to uh, be this close again? We, we just preach one game at a time. Now, like at the beginning of the year, I tell them we're going to make a tough schedule. We're going to play – and we're trying to get to 15 games. And like I said, we just mark it off. Every, every calendar – every week we mark off on the calendar. Every Friday we get to see each other on Monday. So uh, we'll focus on getting to that point. But right now we're trying to beat whoever we play next Friday. And we can't we'll, – if we get to state championship, we'll focus on it that week. But like I said, it's just good for our community, good for our team, good for my kids, man. I love it. And like I said, I just – every time – every week we preach it. I want to see you on Monday. So, Coach – we looked uh, as, at the moment, it look, appears it's going to be Covington. Uh, I know a lot of coaches don't like to look forward in the playoffs, but uh, do you know anything about the Chargers? Yeah, I know a little bit about them. Um, I've, um, I've heard about what they do. I don't have any film or anything like that, but I'm pretty sure we'll, I will get to that point. But I know they run like old-fashioned old wing team, things of that nature, which, you know, that's, that's, that's like a bump in the road offense, so you don't see that every day. So we're going to have to re really prepare for that. But like I said, next man up, we're going to refocus and do what we do. We can't worry about nobody else. All right, Coach, I get turkey on Thanksgiving, you get practice. Hey, listen, at the end of the day, I switch that every year. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm okay with practicing on Thanksgiving as long as, it, as long as we get to keep on playing on the next Friday. All right, Coach, good luck next week and good win. Thank you.